In 2004, New Jersey Governor Jim McGreevy shocked the nation. He announced he was gay. He then resigned from office. McGreevy recently sat down in St. Bartholomew's Episcopal Church in New York. It's where he turned for support after stepping down. And it's there that McGreevy reflects on his life's journey in our ongoing series, Note to Self. In New Jersey, a shocking political announcement. One of the most State remarkable Jim public McGreevy confessions in, in recent memory. A shocking revelation. Governor, Governor Jim McGreevy announced Democrat he is gay and stepped out of the closet office and also out of office, all in one press conference. Throughout my life, I have grappled with my own identity. Dear Jimmy, I'm sorry for the pain and anguish of being a homosexual. Even using that word now conjures up dark and sickly and unhealthy images. I know you've struggled to be quote unquote normal in the face of the taunts calling you a fag and a homo. You've worked so diligently to prove yourself just another kid at Boy Scouts, at church outings, on the Little League field. <sighs> I remember the fear when you first went to the local public library when you thought you were homosexual and how your heart was pounding as your fingers went through the card catalog to look up the word homosexuality and being so deathly afraid of somebody in the next aisle seeing you look up that word. Finally, when you found the word it was listed as a psychiatric illness and how your heart began to pound your mind began to race. I know the anguish that you felt when you read what the church said about homosexual love. Homosexual love was an abomination, that it was worthy of eternal damnation, and how crushed you were, because it was the church you so dearly loved who hated you so deeply. And despite your best efforts to change yourself, trying to be straight, you could never change who you were and who you are. It's about having a governor who's gonna get in there and fight, fight for middle-class New Jersey. Jim McGreevy, I'm running for governor. You voted for me, God bless you. <laughs> I tried to seek acceptance at the ballot box with public acclamation because I was afraid to be who I was. Shamefully, I engaged in an adult consensual affair with another man. But it did not answer the longings of my heart. Planning to file a sexual harassment lawsuit. And only when it was thrust upon me. Resign now. In the most difficult of circumstances. So I am removing these threats by telling you directly about my sexuality. Then did I accept my own reality. And so my truth that I also, is that I am a gay American. I am a gay American. And so, Jimmy, while you may pace about nervously or anxiously or confused at high school dances, and yes, even the disaster which is your senior prom, not to worry. One day you will meet your life's partner and fall deeply in love, unconditionally, raise wondrous children, and you learn to be the happiest that your heart has ever provided. In the meantime, be patient. Enjoy the blessings of friendship. Be at peace and accept yourself. Love and all good things, Jim. A documentary film about McGreevy's life after public office called Fall to Grace airs this Thursday on HBO. Uh, this is fascinating to it me is. and interesting to me and, and sensitive, and they've done a wonderful job. He's also now engaged in prison ministry, mm -hmm. which is what he's doing now with mm -hmm. his life. Yeah, he said that that was, that was going to be his life's calling after this whole episode in right. New Jersey. But I, I always like these notes to self, Charlie, as you point out. They're always so revealing and so candid and mm -hmm. so well done. You know who's doing that documentary with him? Alex Pelosi. Oh, yes, indeed. Who's right, Nancy right. Pelosi's daughter. She does a good job.